What is up, YouTube? This is Rachel here with Ray Ray's Tech, and I've actually got a couple messages in my inbox and in my personal email from from viewers just like yourself asking me to do a more relevant and recent kind of blue product. So luckily for you guys, we just got a shipment in of new uh, blue. Sorry, can't talk today. Blue products here in the store. And I've actually got it in front of you the Blue Life Pro. This is Blue's second kind of flagship phone, and it's retailing for $2.99. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now before I get into the nitty gritty of the content of this video, I really want to show you guys why blue may be a good option for you. Because a lot of people have been asking, why would I want to get rid of my Samsung Galaxy S3, S4, Note 2, Night 3, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, whatever, flagship phone, Nexus 5. Why would I want to get rid of that for a phone like this? And my answer is simple. It's going to be one of three things. One, I'd say children. If you have kids and they're young, and believe me, these days, kids are wanting smartphones younger and younger. This is a good way to get them kind of a starter smartphone, get them out there and get them something that's nice, but won't cost an arm and a leg to repair. So if they break it, you're not crying alone at night. Option two, um, as to why you may want to consider blue, is let's say you damage your own personal smartphone. Let's say you drop it in the toilet, or you're getting out of your car and it fell out of your pocket and the screen shattered, something traumatic and you're in contract, let's say with AT&T or T-Mobile, and you just need a smartphone to get you by, the cool thing about Blue is you can buy this, pop your contract SIM into the Blue phone and kind of finish out your contract with your carrier with a decent smartphone instead of going to Walmart and getting like a track phone or something like that to kind of get you through. This is a decent quality smartphone. The price isn't too hard to swallow and it should be able to get you through the remainder of your contract. Option three is prepaid, which is what we strictly really mainly deal with on this channel is prepaid. So if you want to go into prepaid and you're coming from a contract and you've got an old phone, let's say you've got an iPhone 4 or something, and you want a new phone, and you're like, well, let me go to prepaid, and then you see how mainly with prepaid you get to buy your phones outright, and that kind of scares you, take a look at Blue. These are... These are good high-end smartphones, you know, the more you pay, the higher-end kind of phone you get with Blue, like the Pro Series that I have in front of you. Um, and this way, you're not paying an arm and a leg. You kind of feel like you're still paying those contract prices, and you're still getting good Android-powered phone. So those are my three reasons as to why you shouldn't really just kind of shun out Blue and say that this is not a, a good phone or a good company to kind of look at, because it really actually is. So now let's go over some of the specifications of this phone before we get into the nitty gritty. And the first most obvious thing is how thin it is. Now Blue is advertising that this phone is 6.9 millimeters thin, which is actually a very, very thin device. And kind of to show you guys some other comparisons, I've got the Life Play here. So it looks, it seems to be a little bit thinner than the Life Play. And for something familiar for you guys, I've also grabbed an S3, which it looks to be very similar, but actually probably a little bit thinner than the S3 as well. And these are phones I just kind of grabbed from the store. Now that we've done some of the size comparisons of this device, let's go ahead and jump into the specifications. And I want to show you guys some stuff that really popped out to me that will probably pop out to you as well. One of those being this 5 inch display, 720 by 1280, high definition. I can really tell you that things just look crisp and clear. If Blue does one thing very well, it's the screens that they put on their devices are absolutely stunning. Things just really pop and look really crisp and clear. Looking at images like this from the gallery, you can really see that it does very well with the darks and lights and looks actually very, very well. Um, so Blue does a great job with the screens that they put on their devices. And some of these screen savers are actually pretty cool. Um, they look very, very good and really accent the screen. Now that we've talked a little bit about the screen, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other specs that really stood out to me. And some of those being the fact that it has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. So that is actually pretty decent. It's like the base range of an iPhone and most Galaxy Series phones really come with 16 gigabytes storage as a base. So it's not bad, um, but I did want to let you guys know that there is no option for expandable memory. You get 16 and that's all you get. So it's something to keep in mind. 
Moving the phone onto its back side here, we'll look and see. This phone has a 12 megapixel camera here with a single flash, which is actually pretty impressive. That's that's keeping up with other the other big boys out there in terms of camera specs on the back. Also, the, the phone actually does pretty well on the front as well with a uh, 5 megapixel front facing camera. So definitely something to keep in mind. It's got three buttons here on the bottom. Add them lit up. Let me go see if I can get them again. There we go, the menu button, home button, and the back button on the device. So it kind of reminds me of an S2, if I'm just being honest, minus that fourth button here on the side. Um, but still classic, you know, people like the capacitive and they like how it's built in. Now that we've talked about a couple more specs, let's go ahead and finish up here. On the uh, left-hand side, we got the volume rocker here at the top. Power button here below that, and for me being left-handed, I absolutely love that because it gives me easier access than some of the Galaxy Series phones that traditionally have everything on the right-hand side. Looking here at the bottom, there's nothing to be found. Right-hand side, there is the uh, SIM tray that we talked about since it's not going to be near the battery since the battery is internal. So you'll need a paper clip or a special SIM tool to kind of open that and put your SIM card in the phone. Moving up here onto the top, you see your standard charging port here on the left, 35 millimeter headphone jack here on the right. Lastly, I want to finish up with the fact that Blue is advertising that this phone has a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core processor, so very fast and very responsive. Um, whenever you guys are using the phone, you should never really have any lag time with this device. And also, they are saying that it's running 4.2 Jelly Bean. Sorry for the camera shaking there, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that here in the settings by going to settings, about phone, and you guys can see it here, Android version 4.2.1, and that is a stock Jelly Bean experience, no bloatware or any custom overlays, so you're just getting the full Android experience as it was designed to be used. Some things that I liked about this unit is the fact that using the pull down menu um, you can see that you really don't have those traditional options at the top and that may upset some people hit this button up here at the corner you can kind of go ahead and quickly toggle things on and off like airplane mode you can see your percentage of your battery um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth just some of those quick settings that you guys may need to access quickly you can kind of do that quickly you can also hit that and have quick, quick access to the settings menu as well. I know that some customers out there are a little bit nervous about the fact that you only get 16 gigabytes of internal storage and it's not expandable. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys just how much you actually get besides what's really advertised. Let me go ahead and go back to the right menu here. Storage, hit that there, loads up quickly and you can see you get about 9.3 gigabytes so that's about average after the base kind of stock stuff that they have to put on the, these devices is there so you get about 9.3 gigabytes but just to let you guys know that is not expandable so use your memory wisely so in this quick review I also want to show you guys the stock Android keyboard that comes on the Blue Life Pro so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick typing test to kind of show you guys how responsive that is so let me go ahead and get typing away here So the keyboard actually did pretty well. This is actually one of the better keyboards, actually. I know that they're all stock experience, but with some of the other devices, they didn't really have that good of an autocorrect. And there's only one mistake here, and it's the word doesn't. Um, Rachel does not like driving in the snow. She likes sitting on the beach with a cold drink in hand. And I went pretty quickly to kind of see if the, if the keyboard can keep up with me and kind of correct my mis mistakes and kind of guess which word I was trying to go with. And the keyboard actually did pretty well, honestly. So I really kind of like that experience. The cool thing about Android is the fact that if you don't like your keyboard anyways, you can always go to the App Store and kind of get a different keyboard if you want something more complex than what stock Android provides for you. Lastly, I want to go ahead and talk about the uh, camera. You guys can see they've got actually a, a lot of options here. as uh, so things you can kind of go ahead and take panoramic pictures, and you've got special overlays and everything like that here on the side. So pretty cool settings and customization options as well um, with this camera. I also took some quick, boring pictures of some stuff around here in the office to kind of show you. And the 12 megapixel camera actually does, it actually does pretty well. So 
things actually look good and this was in a, kind of in a bright lighting setting this is kind of average and this is kind of average as well settings of light so i didn't really get to test out the camera or anything but it is a pretty good 12 megapixel camera so definitely something that you guys may be interested in. and as i said before blue is a company that you really want to go to if you're strictly prepaid and you don't like paying those um flat unsubsidized prices for phones um, blue is a good option for a kid it's also a good option for a replacement device so this is my quick review of the blue life pro if you guys want me to go into more depth stuff go ahead and give me a shout below in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching i'm rachel here with ray race tech and i will catch you guys next time see ya